Okay is a um, concept that so is that real for the real Hollywood sign and do I see snow? What's going on in LA? <laughs> Good morning, Brad. And my California friends just sent me that the other day. So as far as I think, I think it's real. I was literally right behind the Hollywood sign just a week ago. And uh, yeah, I still didn't see sunny California then, but now it's really gone. Good luck, Lee. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, it's all, it's all good now. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I, you know, again, we were talking at the beginning, if your business isn't growing, it's dying. And I think Michael Gerber, when he wrote E-Myth, that became very popular phrase back then. And, of, go of course, using it in a lot of different ways. I look at it like if I'm not adding new relationships to my business every day, I'm dying. But it also is exactly what we're talking about. If you're not improving and getting better, uh, your business is dying as well. So what came to me was uh, 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 whatever you call the acronyms or whatever, point far, P-T-F-A-R. And I will put this in the uh, chat as well. But P-T-F-A-R is your programming. So P is the programming and it leads to your thoughts. So once you hear about something, you have an idea, whatever, you put it into your thoughts on what that looks like. The thoughts, the T thoughts lead to F feelings. Your feelings lead to A, actions, and your actions lead to R, results. That's the point bar model. And basically when you're programming and thinking and you're putting your feeling into it, it's moving from your heart to your mind. And that's like being the be, do, have kind of thing. So I'm kind of dumping a whole bunch of stuff and wrapping it into things we've talked about in this room and in the past, but the actions is the do and the results are the have. And as you go through this PTFAR model, it goes back to the just the, the basic model of once you have a plan and you're taking action and doing it, when those results come out, you're checking to see if the results are getting what you want. And many times in life, it's not working the way we thought it was going to work or as smoothly or as quickly as, as, as we thought it would work. So you're checking your results and then you have to come back and reanalyze and, and change that and get better, make it better to get better results, automate it more, whatever it might be. But that's to take that action. So it's actually a constant circle. You have your programming thoughts, feelings, you take action. And if you don't get the results that you're looking for, you analyze those, make changes and go back in and change your programming. Think of a new way, a better way to do it and put it back into action and get the results. And I'm even finding right now in this year that there's some things that we may have done in the past that, you know, as we improved and got better, it's going back and looking. Part of this reanalyzation is what was working back then and what's it look like in today's world. And that's actually given me massive uh, advances uh, to bring back old things, but in a new light and a new world and a new thought and a new process. So that's my share for today. I know that's a loaded. I mean, I just dumped the whole casserole on you guys this morning. <laughs> it is a masterclass. Yes. And as you were sharing PTF. AR, programming thoughts, feelings, action, and results that made you think of the success cycle, um, starting with the beliefs, um, depending on the beliefs, we tap more or less into our potential, potential, our, the, the much or less potential we tap into, defines the actions that we will take, and then it directs it to results. So very similar to a success cycle, but I really liked it. Programming, thoughts, feelings, actions, and results. This was the first time I heard about it. I'll definitely look into it more.